Welcome back guys, this is Alex Himes, and today we gotta discuss a couple of rumors that are going on in the NBA, cause, you know, what's a little NBA fun without rumors, right? Anthony Davis, the name that continuously comes up every year without a doubt, clearly the Pelicans are either underachieving at this point, or he's injured and they're looking for a way out. Five years in, after missing 61 games within that time, Davis has still looked like an MVP candidate every year, killing it being probably the best two-way big in the NBA only to be maybe bested by his teammate DeMarcus or go with Carl Anthony Towns. So shout out to all the UK guys because clearly they're doing something right with those guys. The Pelicans underachieving. They're seventh in the West right now and Davis is still being the it guy, the everything for that team. The Celtics have continuously expressed interest and every year I've talked about how they're going to try and make a move for him. They're keeping tabs on him and the potential trade that everyone keeps mentioning would require moving Al Horford because of his contract, moving Jason Tatum because they want someone who is future down the road Hall of Fame player. It would have to include Marcus Smart and Terry Rozier to sweeten the deal, and it would have to include that Philadelphia pick that we swindled from them during the Markel Fultz trade. Thanks, Billy. Here's what I have to say. Nope. 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 Can we take a minute and just appreciate the Celtic team? I mean, come on. With a team like this, who is number one in defensive efficiency in the NBA, and on top of it, playing really, really just together basketball, unselfish movement, and just playing with complete continuity, it's unbelievable. No one expected this team to be this good and playing this way this quickly, especially after the Gordon Hayward injury. So why are we in such a rush to make a big move? Especially when these pieces that they want are going to be the cornerstones of the future. Would I trade Tatum? Hell no. Any trade for Davis right off the bat for the Celtics, if they're including Tatum, walk away. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. Jason Tatum is the future. Now if it's without him, maybe we can do some talking. And remember, it's not like there isn't going to be a big on the market come this offseason. <coughs> DeMarcus Cousins. Acquire him via free agency and still stand pat with what we have. Do I think Davis is going to the Celtics? Absolutely not. Do I want him on the Celtics? Absolutely not, given what we'd have to give up to get him. But, mark my words, the Celtics are keeping an eye on a situation, and we'll just have to see where this goes. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope everyone is having a happy holidays. Happy New Year coming up as well to everyone. Stay tuned for my interview coming up with Coach Poncho again, and we'll get a lot more of this NBA and NFL news coming at you soon.